Hello and welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oakley Hideth. What's up guys? And I'm here to bring you a new Forge Tips and Tricks. And this one is brought to you guy by brought to you guys by a guy named Apocalypse25. And this one is called UNSC Armory. So it's got a bunch of stuff. It's not the small arms locker type of armory. This is more of a, a massive um, type of endeavor where you have a lot of different vehicles and stuff like here, all with our own weaponry and stuff like that. Um, first and foremost is this gun up here that it looks really cool. It looks almost like something out of Terminator that I loved. Um, the creator put a lot of time and work into this map, so I'm going to be showing you guys the different creations that he has. This is my, uh, first and foremost, my favorite. I just love the design. I think it looks great. I love how he uses the different pieces as he did. Uh, a lot of struts, you know, putting them to good use. And also just the way this gun looks, it's very um, imposing, looks very powerful. I love the design in that it has two different arms that can maybe locate different targets and they can shoot maybe rounds uh, really far away, maybe it's an artillery piece, maybe it's an anti-air gun, I don't know, but I just love the fact that it looks like you can really pivot, it looks mobile, it looks deadly. So let's start taking this apart. So I recreated it a little bit on this side just so you can understand the basic components. So what you're going to do when you start off is add this sniper nest basically right here. So you're going to plop that down on the ground. Then you're going to put two struts, you know, one facing up and then turn it around and have another one inverted right behind it. And those are going to sneak in, you know, just about like that on the um, on the sniper nest. So they, they sort of follow the shape of the sniper nest, which is arcing up. Then up over on the top, you're going to have a 1x4 piece here or this is a one by one tall and thin, sorry, coming across and that's going to be linking the two arms. Then the, the different arms on either side are basically made by one by one tall right here. Um, and you're going to put a barricade large. So the way you want to do that, of course, as always, is make sure it's on phased, fixed or phased so it floats, place it where you want, and then you have to move the other object into it. That's just a little trick. Then, you know, to make the gun barrel or whatever, he has the four columns here. You can also add antennas as he's done. And then over in the top, you're basically going to have two struts, you know, interconnected like this, facing opposite directions. So this one goes this way, the other one is obviously the opposite way. Then what he does is he sinks them down, so you get them just about like this. And when you do that, I think it looks really neat because they no longer look like struts. You get a cool design uh, look to it. And with the glass kind of segmented like this, it makes it look, you know, like it's more of a canister. Um, which goes well with the um, the design for the guns. So when you have those, you're basically going to drop them down somewhat like this, and you know, of course, bring the other one so it looks neat like this. And there you go. That's basically going to be one of the barrels. Put it all together, stick it on the side, and then you know, pivot it at whatever degree you want. Now another design is this ship out here. I've always had trouble building ships, um, so I'm glad you guys have built these. Flying vehicles are great. This one in particular is nice in that you can go inside. Um, it's pretty detailed, so this might be something you could throw in if you have an airport map, or maybe there's a there's a landing pad. This could be you know a place where maybe some of the people could spawn and go out, or maybe this is where you have to take the flag to in a game <coughs> that's objective, or you know take the core to if it's invasion and you don't want a pelican. So this is something that's really cool. Um, the basic design is he has walkway covers, so I'll pull this up one here. Then what he's done is he has two more on either flank, so one on this side, one on that side. So I'll actually just pull that up so you can see what I mean. Um, and this is going to be a really simple, easy way to make the main fuselage of the ship, where you just have four of these. So one on top, one on the bottom. You can see um, here. So I'll make the main body of the ship. You know, completely encase it. And then you have one on either side. Then you just put another one here uh, to finish off the bottom and make this um, sort of cargo hold here. Over in the back, what I like is he's made this piece here that looks like it can drop down, close this off. This can close as well, so this might be where you you know deploy troops and stuff like that. Maybe send out the paratroopers. He's got the uh, the tail of the plane right there, and basically over the top to make it look a little more like um, the main um, body of a ship. He's put these wall curve pieces so those look nice over in the front you know it's just a series of blocks on the bottom then he's put a door here then over here he's got a bridge medium and over here he's used again a uh, block 
window pieces here and then a one-way shield right here to give it the um, you know a little bit of protection then over on the sides this is going to be a corner 4x4 four four, platform wire large corner 2x2 two two. so that makes a nice staggered effect for the wing he's put columns for where the rockets would be um, and then he's put a railing here and a glass sail tad a little more detail at the juncture of where the wing comes to the main body which I always find is a nice touch it makes it more believable then over on the sides and the backs he's got more stabilizers so these are just one by one talls yep again and here corner two by two you know like I said to make the stabilizers so that looks very neat uh, another thing that he's done is this massive gun over here so you can go in this and it'll shoot you out uh, which I think is really neat so this gun has a pretty good amount of function not only can you get yourself shot out of um, but also if you see here there's explosions taking place inside the ship um, and timed with those what you have is explosions over in the back that he set off so he's pulled off a pretty believable effect where this gun you know is shooting and then over there um, it's hitting its target so that might be something you could use in machinima as for the overall design of the gun it looks like he tried to replicate you know things you might see in a gun you know that a, that a person might hold um, because here you can see maybe that's the under barrel grenade launcher over here this is the ammo cartridge so you would slip this, slip this over on the top the rounds would be fed in you know and then you just swap that out for a new one over here he even has iron sights for the gun which looks pretty cool um, and then over here he's got my, what might be you know the shoulder stock or whatever but it's of course a little different because it's a gun that you wouldn't be holding against a person unless you do use you know the models made by XSOX Grim who does the huge Spartan models um, so this might be something they could hold but onto the gun itself um, it's pretty cool also another neat thing to uh, to show off right here put all these columns and they might look random but if you look up he has um, these tunnel pieces here so that's where the empty gun cartridges would go um, you know for the for the rounds that are firing out so that's another cool effect so the gun itself is supported at its base by a platform extra extra large platform extra large here then just sniper nests you know coming off the other side to hold the main body main body itself is a bunch of walkway larges so I'll pull those up for you guys um, he basically just has four so you know one facing this way one the other way one facing up one facing down so that's how he gets this main area here so he's got four of those then you know on the bottom he's made the most out of these pieces that are sticking out here so instead of just leaving them hanging what he's done is he's attached a little a little box in the back so two one by one or these are one by fours and then two by one flat right there to make this nice uh, sort of under barrel uh, mechanism there over on the top he's put struts and one by threes again here and to make the iron sights these are one by one uh, flats and then a railing here so that looks neat then he's gone and added a little more detail on the side so there's just a one by th a three by one flat sorry on the side and then over in the back of course he's put these again the one by fours here you know arching up which looks very cool very convincing over in the black he's over in the back he's got two by two talls so one here one here and then over in the back these might serve as a counterweight to the whole gun and then he's got a three by three short sticking off at the rear end so I think this gun model is really cool definitely something you could use in machinima or maybe even shoot players out <clears throat> in a game over here he's got one more design that I found is really neat and this is kind of a cross between a sub and a small uh, little uh, patrol boat or battleship it looks really cool so again main way he's done it is lay down the center of the ship so wall coliseum he added to make the the main spine of the ship and get his bearings so that's the that's the dead on center then what he's done is put the the wall curve pieces you know starting from the front with the wall coliseum in the middle and the wall curve pieces go all the way to the back then over on each side he has the one by four pieces again slightly at an angle I think that's 15 degrees um, and then over on the top to make the main um, body of the ship he has a walkway large again this piece is slanted down so it goes down into the ship he's got a window piece here in the front or a glass piece so you can look through it and then over in the back just so it doesn't taper off too much what he's done is he's put a one by four here and then a two by one on top so that makes for a pretty convincing sleek looking um, main cockpit for the ship over in the front he's added you know some satellite pieces here 
um, to make for maybe some guns or defenses. And then he's put some wash guards over on the side. So say a wave comes in, it hits this and it gets pushed to the side. So this might be a way, you know, to clear the decks if you're going to have people standing up here or moving around. So that's another cool small uh, detail that I appreciate a lot. Over in the back, this gun piece here is made using a brace right here that comes up and holds it. Two barricade larges on either side, one by, um, <clears throat> sorry, one by one tall again. Then this uses a teleporter frame in the back, and then two railings in the front accompanied with a block, one by one short right there, or flat. So this is really cool. I love the designs. Guys, make sure to check him out. He has a lot of cool stuff, put a lot of work into this, so go ahead and like the channel. Uh, sorry, like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Facebook. If you have any submissions, just go ahead and post those on Facebook. So thanks, guys. This has been Oakley Hideout with the Halo Forge Epidemic. Signing out.